like, like, everybody like. Since American presidential elections no longer have cheesy jingles, but are still unpredictable. Let's discuss the possibility of a tie in the Electoral College. This has happened before in the presidential election of 1800 between Thomas Jefferson and Aaron Burr. But what if the next steps to end the tie-breaking vote also ends in a stalemate? This is so hard. I just want to be president. Just like what happened on the show Veep. Before we look closer, let's review the Electoral College. At this moment, the Electoral College is made up of 538 electoral votes that are spread amongst the 50 states plus Washington, D.C. The number of electoral votes a state has is determined by how many members they have to represent them in the legislative branch. Each state automatically gets two senators but the amount of representatives in the House is determined by each state's population. For example, the least populated states will have one person to represent them in the House and two U.S. Senators. Thus, they will have three electoral votes. On the other end, California, the most populous state, has 52 representatives in the House and two Senators. So they have 54 electoral votes in the presidential election of 2024. A candidate will need at least 270 electoral votes to win the electoral college and therefore the election. Yes, there have been elections where the person who won the popular vote did not become president. I don't know who Al Gore is and at this point I'm too afraid to ask. That will be discussed in a later video. Since there are 538 electoral votes up for grabs, it is possible for two candidates to win 269 votes each, exactly 50% of the electoral college. Here's an example of two candidates receiving exactly 269 votes. This is the worst. <laughs> Yes, it is unlikely for traditional red and blue states to vote for the same candidate, but it's still a possibility. If none of the candidates have reached at least 270 electoral votes, the House of Representatives then gets to decide at the beginning of the new legislative term in January. They give the House until January 20th to elect the president. Even though the amount of representatives a state has in the House of Representatives is determined by population, each state will have to vote as a block and only cast one vote. Going back to our previous example, California will have the same amount of power in the vote as Wyoming. To make things more complicated, all the members in the House of Representatives also just went through an election. In the presidential election of 1800, voters could cast two votes for president, since the second place winner would become vice president. This process was changed shortly after the election with the ratification of the 12th Amendment. Although Thomas Jefferson and John Adams received the most amount of votes, Jefferson tied with Aaron Burr in the Electoral College. They both received 73 electoral votes because people could vote for two candidates at this time and both candidates belonged to the same political party, Democratic Republican. This election is featured in the musical Hamilton. Jefferson has my vote. High in the Electoral College, it was one of the many reasons why it was a big deal when Hamilton endorsed Jefferson over Burr. The House of Representatives ended up selecting Thomas Jefferson and he became the third president of the United States. Aaron Burr became vice president, but was dropped by Jefferson after one term. 
due to numerous reasons. In order to win the House vote, a candidate will need a simple majority of states to vote for them. In modern times, that means 26 of the 50 states. If states abstain from this vote, it does not lower this threshold. Once again, the number of votes available is an even number. Allow both candidates to receive the same number of votes. Too bad the framers did not consider the possibility of having an even number of states in the union. Since the Speaker of the House decides when and what the House is voting on, it is essential to factor in what the Speaker would do in numerous situations. Neither candidate received enough votes in the House to win on Veep. The Speaker of the House decided to no longer vote on this issue since it would be beneficial for his friend. He's asking people to abstain. Tom just needs to make sure that no one gets a 26 and then get his buddy Marwood to make sure there's not another vote. No candidate has received the constitutionally required 26 votes. This House is adjourned. I'm sorry, I would like to change my vote. I voted for the wrong person. You're not going to be president. It's like we're looking down the barrel of a Tom James presidency. If I lose, I lose. Teddy Roosevelt lost. John Adams lost. Winston Churchill lost. So plenty of presidents have lost. Consequently, the decision went to the Senate. The Senate gets to decide the vice president when there's a tie in the Electoral College. What happens if it's a tie in the House? Right. Well, vice president-elect becomes president. That is why the Senate was essentially choosing the president on beat. A candidate would need, again, a simple majority to win the Senate vote. Guess what happened on Veep? The even number of states allows the vote to end in a tie. When there is a tie in the Senate, the president of the Senate breaks that tie. But I'm the decider, and I decide what is best. Vote for Senator Lara Montes. Do you know who the president of the Senate is? The vice president of the United States. The Senate vote on Veep was held before Inauguration Day, January 20th. So the incumbent vice president is still president of the Senate and gets to cast that tie-breaking vote. Hey, buddy. How you doing? There we have it. If there is a tie in the Electoral College, then a tie in the House vote. And if the vote ends up going to the Senate, and the Senate vote also ends in a tie, the President of the Senate, or the current Vice President of the United States, would cast that tie-breaking vote. How the election played out on Veep is technically possible. Please, no! 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 Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe to see all of our newest content and check out onesmallsephistory.com for history socks that are out of this world.